Hey guys, my name is Cityek and welcome back to another episode of our isolated city here in City Skylines. Well, last episode, guys, we built our brand new university. It cost us a gazillion dollars, but we finally got it in. We're now creating smarty pants. They're going to be well educated, which means we can now progress to build the best, the biggest, the most beautiful manufactured goods the world has ever seen and export them from our tiny little island at some point in the future. <laughs> Today, guys, I want to try and create more connectivity. I want to finally get that new ferry line up and running from the brand new airport connected to our little kind of like holiday destination island back to the other side of the mainland as well. And also look towards creating more of the services. I need more fire, police, definitely need more schooling for the normal stuff. And uh, since the brand new creator uh, parks, plazas, promenade, I can't remember what it's called right now. I bought it when it first came out. And this is the first time I've enabled it because it now actually does not break my game. We'll check some of that stuff out too. So as always, guys, if you do enjoy this episode, please smash a like button down below. And if you're on already here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode does come out. But we are b -b back, boys. We are back right now. And uh, we got so much work to get done. So this is what we got set up last episode. We built the brand new university looking pretty swiggity swag right now. We got so many freaking builders in. It's so expensive. Where's the name for it? Hold on. There we go, the Wilson Island Institute, which once uh, the academic year is finished, I did pay and give it its, uh, yes, I, I, I did fund it. So if it gets two academic works, it will level up to the next level. 2,000 student capacity already, which is pretty, pretty damn sweet. So we'll see how long it kind of goes. We also got this brand new area over here all set up too. But right now, I want to focus on connecting the airport and give, well, I know it's already kind of connected with the metro system. But I want to give it that next level of connectivity. And by that, what I mean is uh, building further down here, like a little bit of a ferry stop. Because right now we've got like a ferry, a single ferry going back and forth right now. Uh, probably need to kind of work out, you probably need a, 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 one extra ferry on this. Going to our kind of um, holiday vacation island, our little tourist trap right now, which is pretty sweet. So if I had built another stop over here, I could have a line going back and forth to there. There's a way to kind of connect them. And I also have a line going to there as well. So I can create two more lines. I could do a loop. But I feel like the passengers will be waiting so long to get from point A to point B. I might as well just get multiple kind of routes all set up. I mean, it's not like we're struggling for cash right now. You see how much we're making every week? Damn, boy, is I'm rich. I'm freaking rich. And then we'll take a look at some of the other stuff as well. So let's sort this out then. We've got a road here that connects down. I'm going to utilize this road. And then the middle is where we'll kind of build it. So let's bring up the beautiful little uh, rural style roads that we've been using. I really do like these. They're becoming quite the main focal point of this series so far. Uh, so we got to anarchy this through at the minute. And I'll take it just down to... Actually, first what I think I'll do is take it to here, cut across, and then down. So we've created this nice, beautiful, big rectangle. And then see how far we can take it down at this point. Oh, hang on. Are we still connected? Hang on, I'm going to set this up for the first time ever. Get this side now up and running with the main power supply. Solely so, I can now delete all of this. Because th Wait, is that connected? Hold on, the airport's not even connected upon it right now. Alright, let me kind of go to there. Alright, sweet. So the airport's now connected. We can now get rid of all of this. And I can now build where I want my new little kind of area. And I'm gonna, probably going to turn this section as well into like a bit of a tourist commercial kind of vibe. Especially with the airport nearby. And if I'm not mistaken, we also have, in terms of public transport, another metro that can kind of go up there. So a metro that would literally stop there to transfer them over. I'm getting them all connected, boys. It's going to be the most connected island you've ever seen in your life. So how far can I take this right now where it kind of still feels slightly normal? Uh, in terms of the grid so to here we can go across and then you kind of start to lose your effect uh, right you kind of start to lose your effect so what i could also do is i can maybe go slightly diagonal so if i deleted there i could run see i don't think it'll work out too well no i'm not i'm not a fan of that i'm not a huge fan but we have our middle point, 19 by 20. It's as good as you're going to get it in the middle. Uh, and bring that out to here, where I could create a little five, 
by five and connect the ferry line up to that and we'll just build everything off this i can run this straight down the middle i know it's not perfect but i can make up for it with these little kind of areas and this is where our tourist commercial kind of leisure district is going to be built upon all of this little grid section just in here because tourists have to kind of technically pass through it um this is kind of exciting isn't it oh snap i'm getting excited it. Right, <laughs> let's get the uh, ferry stop now set up. So we'll go for the ferry pier, the big boy. Because I'm expecting there to be a lot of traffic. So the, the, the question is, is how do I squeeze it down perfect? I might need to extend the road slightly. So we go by another five, another five. Just to get it smack bang on where I want it. Which is about, oh, it moved there perfectly placed just there so if i delete the road there delete the road there and then unhook this road so do 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 and then delete it and then get that other five just in here there we go smack bang perfect the ferries can now approach so we'll now sort out some of the waterworks Actually, I don't want to go across like that. I could just come down. It would be so much easier, wouldn't it? So there. Go back up. And then we'll pick just here. Just there. So it covers all the water. It doesn't quite cover the power just yet, but I'm not too stressed about that. So we built that there. Two-stopper. Over there is a two-stopper, which is really good. And we've only got really a one-stopper just there, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, that's fine, so I'm not going to see that many people going to it anyway. So that works wonders for us. Now, for the Metro, right, for the Metro, boys, where is it? Here. Uh, here's, oh, here's a couple of the new stops as well I was checking out. You've got this one, which is uh, an elevated Metro. This is with the new um, Plazas and Promenades DLC. Uh, again, like I said, I've had it since it came out. It's only now that I've been able to enable it because now it no longer breaks my cities. That's a cool little elevated one. You got this one here, which is a parallel underground version, and you got this uh, large one, which does multiple directions. Which do you know what? I might actually use that for this area, because that's going to connect to there. But then I know we're going to have another one running this way around. Do I have the same version like this over here? Yeah, we have them kind of like running on both sides. Right, that is a good shout. I mean, it is a really, really big building though. It is a really, really big. Well, it, it looks really big anyway. Is what I'm trying to get. At. Now, if I place it here, or do I place it here? Now, the reason I'm saying here is because they'll use the metro to get to there and get off there. Then they'll walk the rest, thus meaning they're walking through commercial. Do you reckon that's a good idea, or do you reckon I should place it there? I'm going to place it here instead. Like that. Now, this is exciting, isn't it, guys? <laughs> This is kind of exciting right now. Oh my goodness me, this is pretty sweet. So, let's district this area as well. So, quickly just kind of go around it. Now, we're going to put the specialization on that it is for leisure. Uh, what is this? Paint pedestrian area. Ah. I don't really know much about the DLC since I, I can never use them. Uh, leisure or tour. Is, is it leisure or tourism? Commercial water wall buildings. That's actually a really good one as well. Tourism. We'll go tourism. Is it tourism I want, though? Uh, attracts tourists. Uh, or leisure. Hmm. I'm going to go leisure instead of tourism. Because, obviously, we should have saved the tourism for over here. I still can. I still can. So I'll just kind of quickly paint this area and then put the tourism specialization on this because the amount of tourists that we're going to have over there, that will change up those buildings that we should have done. That's going to be because obviously the amount of passengers we have coming in, like, to and from this, it just makes sense. So let me get in the metro line first and foremost. I could just go here. There's nothing too jazzy about this straight connection and we'll set up a quick run right now. So I'm liking the little crisscross there. It's only going to be one train, obviously. But that's going to obviously run this side. 
probably end there as well. So it goes up, stop here. We're definitely going to have another stop there on this side. Um, probably have another stop there. So stop there, 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 as it all kind of connects through. We, we are trying to make it as connectable as possible. But yeah, we do need more... Well, we do actually need our power through here. Now, do I go high density or low density? I feel like we're going to go low density here. Then I go high density all here. But then, in this area, throw on a high-rise ban. So the buildings don't get too big. You know what I mean? What is this here? Do oh, oh, okay. This is all new stuff. Um, so that works wonders. Obviously, we do need power. So what I'll do, just kind of give us that connectivity. Bring that just to there. And hopefully it will all connect over to it. Uh, and all that kind of jazz. So... It's not going to connect as quick as I want it to. So I'll just kind of go like this. Run it down until we do have the connectivity and get it to there. So at least we have power. Wait, hold on. It's completely... Oh, no, there we go. I better say it completely missed all of this for the power. <laughs> so we have to get people to and from, but obviously we just can't yet get the ferry system all set up. So I need to do the ferry pathway, and now we need to navigate a lot of this area. So ferries come out of here, and if I just kind of utilize this... And create a little triangle there. And what we'll do, we'll, we'll initially build a little loop that kind of goes around the perimeter of this island. Right. So we have like a default loop for the ferry system, is what I'm trying to go for right now. And then we just need to kind of figure out everything else to cut around there. Or am I happy for the ferries to bypass that way? Because you never know if I'm going to add another stop there, which then will make sense to kind of, you know, to ferry stop hop, <laughs> as the best way to put it. But in terms of a line from here to here, it would also come around and drop into there. But that feels really long-winded, doesn't it? It really does. Um... Hmm. So that's a bit of a tough one. I'll come back to that one in just a moment. But let's say I uh, go straight down to connect to here. And I'm just going to bring this down, kind of connect in. Um, I just realized I've done like a nice little diagonal, didn't I? Like that. Uh, right, okay. So let me think about this right now. So obviously that works perfectly fine. I mean, if you had one on this side, that would be even better. As the connectivity is... Do you know what? I might do that. What? What's here? We have a restaurant pier, which is oh, so good for how that's currently set up. Now, hmm. If I move this down to there, and if I squeezed in a small one... I mean, I could do like this, the canal for every stop, but I think that's a little bit pushing it a bit too much. I like the sticky outness of this. To there. That I'm going to have to move that. But I'm placing this here. So I've got a shorter connection to there. So I don't like what I've done with this now. You know what I mean? I'm not a fan. So I'm wondering if I can... slightly move it. Why have I put this over there instead? I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not, like I said, it's not the end of the world, so no, it still does what it needs to do. Uh, bring it over to normal. Unlock that. Did I unlock it? <coughs> I think I unlocked, or unlocked the wrong thing. What's going on? Excuse me, sir. Delete that. Now I can definitely 100% unlock it. There we go. Finally! He succeeds. And... Bring that down to there. And then just run this up. It's 
Simple, mate. Absolutely simple. So you got the. I mean, to be honest with you, do you reckon they'll you to go here, get off there, walk, connect onto that one, and go that way? Because they might deem this too long. There's only one way to find out, and that would be to first initially create this run. And once I know they're utilizing that, then add the longer version in. Um, and that'll be my way to then... No, I can just add it in now, and then you'll be able to, I'll be able to visually spot it. So I know it's the right-hand side on this one, that one there. And then on this one, it's the left. So we'll, we'll, we'll know from the amount of people using it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens right now. So let it do what it's got to do, then we'll figure out if we need more ferries and stuff on this as time goes on. But this will be a, uh, a decent start. It will be a decent start. Now, the amount of vehicles turning off, we can now think about sorting out the, da -da 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 -da, uh, the road here. So bring in this down. I think I'll end it just there. And then figuring out my rural... Now, the, there was, the way we did it, there was a certain way, wasn't there? We were, like, 25 away from the gap. So, that already, okay, we can't figure that out. That already there is a 20, so if I do a 13, that's my 25 away, which is a 10. So, running this down to there, that should be a 10. It's a 9, okay, it's a 9. Okay, my calculations weren't perfect. So a 10 is actually, get it just in. A 10 is just there, right? Yeah. So running that down to there, that's where we've got it. But you kind of also want it to be connected. Now that is a 6. So how would we transition this? Because we based all this on how this all is. I didn't quite think of this. So, I mean, the easy way to do it is actually not do it here. So if I create the long inward and go across. What we need to do is create like a little bit of a city park to break up the procedure. You know what I mean? So, if I killed off you and go back there, we'll kind of do like a little bend going down to it. But I, to be honest with you, I don't have to do that. Because I can forget the 10 and just work on it as if this was the connection point. And then, problem solved. I know that one's a little bit closer, but problem solved. So, if I just kind of create a couple of runs uh, right now with this road, that's running pretty straight. Well, I know we need to kind of create the bend. Ooh! Now you're throwing curveballs at me, Soniac. Now you're throwing curveballs at me. I'm keeping that design. That's that's good. I like that idea. But this is the downside of having uh, so many vehicles on this. And this being the only on and off ramp at the moment this happens but this doing this here might alleviate some of the traffic um but yeah i do know that's an issue do not worry do not fret i completely understand and know and we will have more on and off turn off ramps especially one here as well but fast forward anyway because i'm waiting for um peeps to gonna go over here now if we start seeing people over here waiting we know that that is technically they will use that route so I'm not going to island hop as much as I thought. Now, a lot of the tourists do want to travel this way. But the fact that they will wait there shows me a great deal of, of information that I need. So once I start seeing people waiting on that side, they will go back the opposite way. We just got to give them some time. Give them some time. So it's kind of interesting to see vehicles now using this. Every vehicle that uses this is one less one turning here, causing havoc here. But I like that crisscrossing us. I, I want to try and implement that somewhere within this. And also, that is not a 10 by 10. So I'm going to cancel all this. But we get the gist of it, right? 
we get the gist of how this is going to work. Uh, okay, so this is making it very, very exciting for me. Very, 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 very exciting. So going to your choice hotel. So yeah, going to the island. It's all tourism. It's all tourism. So there's a bunch of people now making their way down. So they're using this stop as well, by the way. It's so cool, that is. I'm really, really impressed with that. Um, so this is the other side of it as well. Is would they use the ferry to go all the way over here when they could quite easily use the metro? See, that's my tough one. But they... There was people over here waiting. So where are you going? Going to Game Hall, which is over here. Bit of a tough one, isn't it? We'll have to kind of see. So people will come over, but they won't necessarily, necessarily go back at the minute. You're going to Luxury Hotel. Uh, the the best Eastern. These are all hotels on that, on that island. I'm still waiting for that one person on this side to go in there. Then I know we're, we're, we're going to be okay. That's all I want. Is that... That knowledge. That someone's going to go back using this stop. So I know people are coming over. But it's the reverse. So people are getting off. You know, it's handy in that one direction. I might just have to give it a little bit of time, to be honest with you. I might just need to give it a little bit of time for people to be maneuvered around the area a bit more. Another person there getting off. Only one. I mean, I only need one ferry on this whole system at the moment as well. But there's people still waiting. So, you know, it does work. So let me check out these little ferry lines real quick right now. So line three to what I've just added in, there's five vehicles. I can actually bring this down to one. Uh, line two was the one back from the new area to the island. Again, we could get away with one. We have the original line, which is a little bit overwhelmed. So adding a second one on will kind of cut into that a little bit more. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Excellent. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Right, okay, so... Let's take a look at some of the services then. Now, I know we've added in, like, healthcare and stuff like that recently. Right. But I want to see some of the new stuff. Like, this high-capacity hospital has capacity for 800. My other one had 500. So this one is definitely a lot better, but it's a lot more expensive and a lot more money to kind of upkeep and run. Holy moly. But I feel like the healthcare is pretty good for the most part. Obviously, these guys don't have any, but when these roads connect... I mean, they can jump on the highway and whatnot, but... Yes. I won't build any of this stuff until I need it just yet. Um, fire. Again, we have this high-capacity fire station, which I might replace these ones over here with. So we have a police station and a fire station. If I quickly delete these, my brand new high-capacity... Uh, where's it gone? Sorry. The uh, high-capacity fire station. How big is the building? Ooh. Now that's jazzy. Now that is jazzy, boys. Would you look at that? So that'll give us a lot more coverage. And then we should have the equivalent in a police station. Should be a high uh, capacity police headquarters. Uh, patrol car. 40 patrol cars can be thrown on it. Oh, it's. Okay. That was underwhelming. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than the. Why is the fire station so big? Did, did, they, did they accidentally shrink the building? What's going on? Did they accidentally shrink that building? <laughs> That's so underwhelming, isn't it? Is there any new death care? Uh, no, there's no, not really any new death care. Uh, I know there's new schools. We have this high capacity elementary school, which is really good to see. I can actually squeeze that in somewhere. I know we've got a couple of schools here and there, but seeing as this is going to be quite a high capacity area, uh, I can squeeze a couple in. So what I'll do. Is, is this perfectly spaced out to the right number? Yes. We could create 
here really quick. And then go across. So that's what the design will go for here. It's kind of split it all up naturally. So there's not too many stoppages within the road. Right. And then we'll get a high capacity elementary school. I'm going to place it. Does it fill that up? No. Just there. And then we have a high capacity high school as well. Now that, can it be backed on? No. But I can place it opposite it. And then we have a high capacity university, which I'm not going to use because of what we recently got down. But these two big beautiful buildings. So do I place them there? No, do you know what? I'm not going to place them there. I'm going to place them on the edge here. Now this high school is a bit chunkier. I might... Right, drop that there. Move this high school... No, I'm going to delete that high school. Because again, my whole situation is if I place them near the park, they'll utilize the park area. So it gives us so many more students. Yo, 2,400? Is that serious? The original one gives us 1,000. That's like almost two and a half normal high schools. That's 800, where this one gives us 300. So that's nearly three, high, uh, three uh, elementary schools. That is huge capacities. Holy moly. Right, we're going to get a lot of educated people. A lot of educated people. Damn, son. That is a lot. That is a lot. Holy moly. Is this roundabout set up right, by the way? It is. I'm not liking how... They're not utilizing the, the two lanes here. So if I did that, I'm wondering if it will then change the lane that they approach on. Okay, they won't do that because of how this is now set up. I know you shouldn't do this, but this is what I'm doing. To encourage more flow. On the roundabout. You know what I mean? Which should uh, burn through this backlog a little bit. So they should now all change into the correct lanes that they need to be in. I don't know why it doesn't set up like this like as normal. Now I don't want to do lane management. Honestly I don't want to do lane management. But this is where the game's got me to right now. I'm trying to get him to utilize both lanes a bit more. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't want to do traffic management because I'm not in. I'm not in my final form. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not ready to call this a day. I got. I got other stuff to do to get this all fixed. I don't want to get sucked into the traffic management. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it. Now, right. There we go. There's people waiting, so I know it. I know it works. Now I do know uh, we have like plazas and stuff now, don't we? Yeah, I was checking these out earlier. Uh, we have all these little kind of uh, street tiles and whatnot, but we have these nice little kind of like glass overhangs. Now that is a little bit too big for what I would potentially want. I, I would like a smaller variation of it. Um, but yeah, all this stuff is really interesting. It's very interesting. I don't quite know how to utilize it yet. This is stuff that I'll have to kind of like figure out. But it's it's quite exciting that we ha now have all this type of stuff. Uh, large piles of ice cream stands, picnic tables. How cool does this stuff look though? That we can kind of implement this kind of jazz. It is exciting, but... I don't know the, the whole extent of how we ultimately utilize it. So I'll have to kind of wait until I figure it all out. But can maybe we do like a little bit of a plaza as they walk through? That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or even a bit of plaza going down the middle. Ooh. Now you're talking, boy. Now you're talking. So, yeah. 
not saying that this solved the issues, but we're definitely clearing this backlog. Um, got a huge backlog coming down here, but I need more on and off ramps. And more accessibility for these areas. That's what I need, boys. It's what I need. Uh, can't believe the amount of students we can get in these new high-capacity buildings. It's unreal how many you can now get. I could actually swap this hospital out for the large capacity one. Uh, which is this one. Bam. Which, that has a capacity of 800, where this one had a capacity of 500. So, an extra 300 peeps in the in, in one building. That's not too bad. And it's... I reckon, right, they must have shrunk, accidentally shrunk the police station. Because big... Huge, huge fire station, hospital, world's smallest police station. It's weird, isn't it? I find that really weird. Yeah. Right, where's this boat anyway? The boat going back and forth. Are we starting to see more passengers to a point where we might need a secondary boat? I think we do. So let's sort this boating sitch out. So it will be line two. There's now need for an additional boat. So, line one. Did it kind of blitz through the capacity? It did. Okay, that's really good. To a point where we could, it feels like I could go down to, back down to one boat. But I'm not going to. Line three. Still only one boat at the moment. There's not a fat lot I can do about that. But that line going around here would make more sense when there's maybe an additional one or two more stops along the route. Maybe that could eventually be like a whole round the edge loop. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? So, we've done some good work today. We've still got a lot of progress that we do need to make. Anyway, we got more connectivity up for the airport, uh, which is really good to see. Uh, I do need to increase the attractiveness score so I can then level this up to the next level and then maybe think about building our own airline and all the extra jazz that kind of comes with it. My new metro stop here is serving quite a few passengers, which is uh, really good to see. That's actually another point as well. That the, the newest line I've added in, which would be this one, line six. Does it need another train on it? Airport Express. What, what, what capacity is that train? 180. Oh, okay. I should, I should change all the other ones to these 180 um, capacities. We'll see how we go. So that gets to there, it kind of loads and unloads, then goes back. But does it go back quick enough where there's another 180 waiting? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's only a short walk and they're being so lazy. <laughs> but it's all part of the fun. What a shopping district we've now kind of created. So we do need to think about ways in which we can get goods around the island because at the minute we're heavily relying on vehicles to transport the goods to the commercial areas so we this is something that we do have to think about and it is quite difficult because we haven't really built the island set up uh for a train line now these guys complain about there's not enough workers do we have uh what is the unemployment rate like it is kind of low jobs available we do need more people living on the island so we have to do some more residential growth, which is what we'll work on this section next episode and kind of connecting them, added in that additional um, connection for the highway as well. It should all slowly come together. It should all kind of fall in place. And um, I'm liking these little diagonal crisscrosses. That's going to be quite a uh, unique way to build the area up. I like it. Is there anywhere else I can add those kind of stuffs in? I mean, I've, I've tr I have could have done it here, to be honest with you, but I've kind of opted for bends. And there as well, but it is what it is. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash the like button down below. Until next time, I'll see you all soon.